Look, some people are just better at keeping secrets than other people. In this case, keeping your marriage secret from your parents for two years or over a year, I should say, uh, is Herculean to me. Like, how does that not come up? Oh, or no. how does somebody not slip? Yeah. Slip up and somehow, some way. So in this email, she knows that she has to tell her parents now that she's been married for over a year and she thinks they're going to freak out. And they probably will. Look, <laughs> if you have something going on in your life, you want to share it with us, hit us up at thebirtshow.com. Kristen has the email. Burt Show, I've been listening to you guys for so many years and you always have such great theories and strategies on helping people tell someone something or ask someone something. I'm in a bit of an urgent situation. That is a result of my procrastination and being honest. <laughs> I think we've all experienced that at one point in time, right? What's that? Procrastination and being honest. Okay. When you need to come clean about something, you need to talk to somebody about something, mm -hmm. and you just keep kicking the can down oh, the yeah, road. absolutely. And then before you know it, you've kicked it so far down the road sure. that you're like, yeah, this is going to blow up in my face. You make a million excuses why. Well, Tuesday yes. is her sister's birthday. I don't want to ruin <laughs> that day. Thursday... That's Canadian Boxing Day. Yeah. And I think she's 116th Canadian. So I don't want to ruin that day for her. And you just keep making excuses. And before you know it, uh -huh. then you start thinking, it's not even a big deal. I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that for me, that was like telling my parents that I had dropped out of college. Oh, <laughs> that's really? a big one. When I was taking my semester off, I just, they didn't know for like three quarters of the semester. I just kept dropping classes till there was only one class left and I couldn't drop anymore. So <laughs> they paid for that one class and that was it, but they didn't know. So technically you were still in school. So you're probably saying, I don't need to tell them that I'm not in school. I'm in school. I'm not taking one class, but. And I wasn't going to that class. <laughs> 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 so when you dropped out of the last class, uh -huh. How long before that? And no, then you couldn't. Like, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah you weren't because, I mean, you had to pay. It was like, it was weird. I could drop out of so many, but you're paying. It was complicated. I had to keep that one class. <laughs> they were paying, but I wasn't going. And let's just say that conversation didn't go well. I was about to ask. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That did not. <laughs> but I did go back and I did graduate. Um, all right, so she goes, I'm in a bit of an urgent situation that it was a result of my procrastination of being honest. I think you normally do this with your texting tutor, uh, texting tutor, but unfortunately, I don't have time for that as I'm likely going to be face-to-face -face with my parents and I need to let them know I'm married. I've been married for about a year to my boyfriend who they assume is my ex-boyfriend. They never liked him. My parents live about five hours from me and rarely have the need to come here. So when we go back together... After a short break, I never bothered to tell them. Oh, so when we got back together after a short break, I never bothered to tell them. Mm -hmm. They never really liked him, and my family's opinion seemed to be a big cause of problems between he and I. So when we were trying to work things out, I knew I needed to keep my family out of our personal life. After a couple of months of being back together, we ended up spontaneously eloping. I have zero regrets. I am happily married and happier than I've ever been. All that said... Never told my parents. Mm. I also never told him that I didn't tell them. Oh, God. Wow. God. No. They have no idea I'm married or even with him. He has no idea that it's a secret. She's God. good. She's really good. Yeah. How did she pull that up? She's also really screwed. I mm. have known for a while that I've needed to tell them, but I keep putting it off. Well, now I have no choice. My mom called me last night to let me know that they would be stopping by for a visit and may even like to stay the night at my place. Apparently, my father found a vintage car that he is purchasing, and it happens to be 20 minutes from where I live. So they were making the five-hour drive to pick up the car and decided to visit me after I get off of work. She said they may like to stay the night, so they have, come, uh, so they have time to visit with me before making the drive back. I thought about scrambling to come up with a lie as to why they can't spend the night or even come to our house— my, our house, then I figured, I just need to rip the Band-Aid off and tell them. Yeah. You think? I also probably need to tell my husband that they will just now be finding out. <laughs> yeah, so Why is she using words like probably? <laughs> <laughs> she yes. want to keep kicking his can. Yeah. So, Bird Show, <laughs> how do I do it? Um. So, am I to assume from this they don't even know that they live together? No, they don't even they don't think they're, yeah. Anything. Oh, damn, you are so screwed. <laughs> I mean, it's time, right? I, I personally love when people put themselves in impossible situations and then come to you and say, uh, so yeah, help. Yeah, uh, what, do I do? What, what do I do? You you have to you made this bed. 
You have to lay in it. That that's to me, that's what it means. I mean, you have to tell them the same thing you told us. I love this man. I have no regrets. I should have told you sooner. I might lie a little bit about the date. I don't know if I would say I was married for a no, year. No, you gotta you gotta come clean about all of it. I, I really? mean, if you're yeah. gonna lie, I mean, why lie now? I, don't know. I mean, if you say eight months and a year, and then no. they find out it's a year, then you got another lie you got to try to deal with later. Why? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you just got to come clean with this one. It's not going to be an easy conversation. You just got to do it. It's not. Like, how do you? How do I do it? There, There is no how. You just do. I mean, you just, they're going to come over to the house, you and your husband, and you got to talk to your husband first, and you got to tell him your family does not know you're married. And then the two of you have to get on board and get on the same team ASAP because you have to tell them this together. You can't be at odds when you do this. You got a long day ahead of you because she said this has has to happen today, right? So like today, like now she's got to sit hubby down and go through that. He's going to be really pissed. And now you're asking, yeah, right. And now you're asking him to do the impossible. So even though I know you're pissed, you don't really have time to heal right now (laughs) because my parents are coming. Actually, my parents are at the door right now. All right. Probably the best way to do it. So I got something to tell you. And there's a knock on the door already. And it's the parents. And he's like, oh, yeah, before they come in, there's something I got to tell you. (laughs) That's one of those deals where it's like, so you remember when we eloped and that line for better or for worse? I'm about to throw some words at you. (laughs) Get it out the way. And I I, I need you to be by my side. Yes. This is one of the, if I'm going into your day right now, here's my mentality. This is going to be a bad day. Yeah. All right. You just know that this is going to, you earn this bad day. All right. But let's put that behind us. But you're not going to come out of this like, and everybody's going to go, oh, Colleen, this is just like you, <laughs> you little flake. No, nah, man. I mean, there's going to be people mad, and, but you just got to rip this Band-Aid off now. There's no other option, is there? No. Nope. That's it. Just yeah. do it today. Own it. Do it. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get a lot more of The Burt Show for free on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.